Hello, I'm CJ Windish, and welcome to Tinker and Build. Today we're going to be showing you how to use a Raspberry Pi. We'll show you how to get it set up, and how to use it to control a simple LED. To get the Pi set up, here's what you'll need. A Raspberry Pi 3, a micro SD card, a laptop with a micro SD card reader, or a laptop with an SD card reader and a micro SD adapter, a USB keyboard and mouse, or a USB wireless keyboard and mouse combo, a monitor with HDMI output, an HDMI cable, a micro USB power supply, or a micro USB cord and a USB power supply. To build the simple LED circuit, you'll need an LED, a 330 ohm resistor, some male to female jumper wires, and a breadboard. Let's set up the Raspberry Pi. We need to format our SD card and install the Raspbian operating system using the Noobs OS installer. I've got a 64 gigabyte micro SD card which adds some complexity. The Raspberry Pi needs the card to be formatted as FAT32, however, Windows will only format it per the SD spec as XFAT. Links to an explanation in the description. So we have to download GUI Formatter for Windows. Download and install it. Run it, and choose the proper drive letter for the SD card. You can see what that is in any folder window right here. Leave the other settings untouched and click Start to format it. Now we need to get Noobs onto the card. Download it from the Raspberry Pi Downloads page. This might take a while. Then extract it. You need to copy it to the micro SD card. However, you don't want to copy the folder, just the contents of the folder. So open the extracted folder, Control A to select all, and drag copy it to the SD card. Now we're ready to use the Noobs installer to install the Raspbian OS. Put the micro SD card into the Pi. Plug in the keyboard and mouse to the USB ports. Plug in the HDMI cable from your monitor. Plug in the micro USB power supply. I'm just using a micro USB cord I had with my iPhone USB charger box. And after some colorful output, the Noobs installer should start. Select Raspbian and install. This might take a few minutes. And that's it, your Raspberry Pi is all set up. For the simple LED circuit, connect the minus rail on the breadboard to one of the Raspberry Pi's GND pins. Connect the resistor to the ground rail, then to the middle of the breadboard. Connect the LED's cathode, the short pin, to the resistor. Plug the anode into another row on the breadboard, and connect the jumper wire to one of the Pi's digital I.O. pins. We'll use pin 18. Now to the code. We're going to use Python to control the LED. We're just going to cycle the LED on for a second and off for a second. From the terminal on the Pi, create a new file with a Unix text editor. In most tutorials, Nano is used, but I'm used to Vim, so I'll use Vim to create and edit the new file. We'll call it LED-test.py. Import the Raspberry Pi GPIO library and set up the pin for output. Create a variable to hold the LED state. Then go into a perpetual loop and invert the boolean each time. Now set pin 18 high or low based on the LED state variable. Delay for one second after turning it on so it doesn't blink too fast. Throw in some print statements so we can see what's going on in the terminal. Colon QA to quit out of VI and run the code with Python then the file name. And there it is, a Hello World circuit using the Raspberry Pi. Just control C in the terminal to stop the script when you're ready. As always, links to all the parts needed for this video are in the description. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more how-to videos like this one. Also, be sure to follow us on social media, at Tinker and Build on Twitter and Facebook. And you can follow me, your host, at CJ underscore Windish on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. That's all for now. This has been Tinker and Build.